Hey guys, how's it going? Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Today we'll be taking a look at, and I'll show you how to install, Roadmaster's Diode Wiring Kit on our 2020 Jeep Wrangler. So our diode wiring is going to be one of the main components to our flat towing setup. This uses our factory brake light, factory turn signals, and taillight signals to keep us safe on the roadway. So our kit is going to allow us to use our factory wiring, and it keeps all of our wiring contained inside the vehicle so we don't have to use magnetic lights or any sort of other outside lights that are going to be sticking on the back of our Jeep. Our diodes are going to protect our Jeep's factory wiring from any back feed that might come through our taillight signal so we don't have to worry about our taillights being messed up on our Jeep. In terms of installation, installing our diodes really isn't that bad. It can be kind of nerve-wracking cutting into our factory wiring, but I promise it won't be that hard. So now that we've gone over some of our features, talk a little bit about installation, I'll walk you through how to get it installed now. To start our installation, we need to run our wiring back to our taillights. I always like to leave a little bit extra just on the front for when we make our connection to our plug. I'll go ahead and show you how I ran my wiring now. So I started off here, kind of came through this tab up to this hard line, and I zip tied it to the hard line here and here. And then I came back underneath of our um, brace here then underneath that brace, I went straight into the frame rail up on that factory wiring. And I did throw a zip tie right there on that factory wiring. So then I ran it back through the frame, all the way back, and out right here. I used an airline tube and fed it through our frame rail and pulled it out back here. So now we're ready to make our ground connection. I'm going to separate all of our wires add a ring terminal and ground our ground right here on this metal. You want to make sure not to ground it to plastic. So I separated our white wire, which is our ground, all the way up to here. And like I said, I'm going to run our ground right to this bracket. So we can go ahead and measure it out. I'll cut our wire right about here. So we can go ahead and strip back our wire. I want to twist this. And I did trim it kind of far, so I'm going to cut off a little bit extra. Give it another twist. Grab our ring terminal. And I can go ahead and crimp it on. So instead of mounting our ground here, I'm going to mount it right here. That'll just keep it a little bit more tucked up underneath our vehicle. So that's our spot. I'm going to go ahead and start our self-tapper. And I did clean this off with rubbing alcohol just to ensure a good connection. Now that our self-tapper started, we can go ahead and tighten it down to our ring terminal. Now we can run our brown and our yellow wire up to our driver's side taillight. We need to remove our taillight. There's going to be a plastic cover right here. We're going to take a nylon pry tool and pop this cover off. Underneath our cover, there's going to be a T30 torque spit. We can go ahead and take that off. We can go ahead and remove it. And then to take out our taillight, we'll simply pull back. And you'll see our wiring here. We're going to pull back on this red tab, push down right here, and then pull our plug off. We can set our taillight off to the side. Back behind our taillight, there's going to be an opening right here. It's going to come in right behind our filler neck. So we can stick our airline tube. Or if you don't have that, you can use a string with a nut on the end. So now with our wire separated from our green wire, again, that's going to be our yellow and brown. We can go ahead, tape that to our airline tube, and pull it up through our taillight hole. We want to make sure to pull until the wires get tight. And then we can strip back the sheathing on our factory wiring. So we tested out our wiring. Our yellow wire is going to connect to our yellow wire. And our brown wire is going to connect to our white and gray wire. So we can go ahead, cut back our yellow wire. We'll strip back both ends. So with our spade connector on, we can go ahead and crimp it down. We can add a spade connector to our other side. And crimp it down. Now we can add a diode. On our diode, we'll have two coming in and one coming out. We want the out going to our factory taillight. So we'll go ahead and snap that on. We want one of our ends to be from our factory wiring. And our other end will be from our yellow wire coming for, from our four pole. 
Right now, our factory circuit is completed. Now we are ready to add our spade connector to our yellow wire from our floor pole. With that crimped down, we can go ahead and add this. And now our break and turn circuit is complete. We can now trim back our white and orange wire for our taillight signal. So we can go ahead, strip back both ends of our factory wiring and connect it to our diode just like we did on the other one. Crimp it down. So taillight side out, this side in. And now with our brown wire, we're going to do something a little different. We'll go ahead and figure out where we need to trim. I'm going to go ahead and cut it right about here. So we're actually going to strip back this wire and the wire that we trimmed off the other side, spin them together, put them in this spade connector, and our extra wire will run over to our passenger side as a jumper wire. So I'll go ahead and strip this back. And we'll do the same with our other wire. So with both of our wires stripped back, we can go ahead and spin those together. I'm going to trim just a touch of that off so it fits in our spade connector a little bit better. Once again, I'm going to spin that. We'll add our spade connector. Crimp it down. Since this one's bigger, I am going to turn it around and crimp both sides just to make sure our wires won't go anywhere. So with those sides crimped, we can add it to our diode. And then we'll take the other end of our brown wire. And we'll drop that back down with the rest of our wiring through that hole. With our connections made, we're ready to reinstall our taillight. But first, our diodes come with two-sided tape. I'm going to take the tape off of one and stick it to the other. Then we'll take the tape off of the back one, clear our wires out of the way, and I'll stick it to the body right here. This will keep our diodes from moving around when we're traveling. Now I can make our taillight connection and reinstall our taillight. We can now run our wiring over to our passenger side. So I took our brown wire back around here and through this hole in our frame rail. And then I came out through the hole on this side of our frame rail, comes out right up here, pulled it into this rear cross tube, pulled it across the back of our Jeep, out this hole here. Then I'm gonna lower the Jeep down, take the taillight out on the passenger side, drop our airline tube down, that'll come right here, and I'll pull that wiring right back up to our taillight. So I went ahead and tested the wiring on our passenger side. Our green wire is going to be our break and turn signal, and our white and orange wire is going to be our running light signal. Now we can pull our wiring back up through the back of our vehicle, just like we did on the driver's side. We have our two wires coming in, and our wire going out to our taillight plug. So I went ahead and connected our taillight signal here. Then I'll splice in our brown wire to our spade connector. And on this side, we'll only have one brown wire. So then we can go ahead, connect it here. And now with everything hooked up, we can go ahead and test it out. We're gonna be using an alternate power source. I'll go ahead and turn it on. You'll see our brake lights, our left turn, and now you'll see our tail lights, our right turn, and our brake lights. Now that we have everything hooked up, tested, we're ready to hit the road. That's gonna do it for a look at an installation of the Roadmaster Diode Wiring Kit on our 2020 Jeep Wrangler.